what's up what's good it's your girl Michaela Janae here back with another video and in today's video I am actually going to be doing another haul last time you only saw my hands because your girl was getting her hair done she's cut she's short and she's cute I have a whole video coming up on my cut this is just phase one I actually might go a little bit shorter but that is coming after my relaxers so make sure you guys are subscribed with your post notifications turned on so you can stay up to date on what happens with my hair so let's get into this video like I said in the last nail video I did pick up some more nail products since then and your girl actually went to family dollar and racked so i spent like 30 dollars in family dollar yesterday so you know i got a good amount of stuff so i had to come on here and show you guys i love to make videos for people who are beginners who like to save money who likes to do things and not ball out of control i love to do it the inexpensive way so you can be a beginner nail tech and get your stuff from dollar trees family dollars all that so the first thing that i was so shook to pick up is this nail dryer i got a three dollar nail dryer from dollar tree and it works i'm gonna tell y'all already kind of opens it up and checked it out because i'm not gonna show y'all something that don't work okay this works it, it takes batteries and it's not like a lot of air like a fan or anything but it's enough air to dry your nail glue to dry some polish it definitely works and it's worth three dollars so i would definitely recommend picking that up and that is the modessa cordless nail dryer that's a must another electronic that i got is this portable manicure system so this is an electric file that i got for 725 and it also works this takes two AA batteries and it has different drill bits and when i tell you they actually work like they was filing my nails it was buffing my nails i'm so shook because you know you see everybody doing the nail holes and it's all amazon stuff and they got the drill from melody Susie and all that but your girl isn't going to be doing acrylic nails right away i'm just going to be working with press-ons and glue-ons and natural nails so this is going to come in handy just so i can get used to using something electrical because i have been using a just a regular handheld file forever so to get used to some mechanics i'm going to play with this but this thing actually works and it comes with a little bag to keep it in so i'm so excited to actually get into this and learn how to use it better yeah i love organization so the fact that it came with a little bag it's just going to make it so much more cuter if you guys would like me to do a nail area tour because i'm going to have like my own nail cabinet instead of a nail suite i'm going to have a cabinet that i'm going to deck out and all that stuff so i am so excited for that so just stay tuned okay the next thing i got were these super cute little pair of scissors like i'm not trying to cut nails or anything with this really but this is going to be like to cut foils to cut paper towels just to cut anything i need in my nail station i don't want to have to bring um you know scissors from all over the salon to do nails the next thing i got was some modessa cuticle oil it's actually peach scented and your girl was gonna definitely make her own cuticle oil but it's at the point where if i can buy it and it's right there and i don't have to put in a lot of work to create it i definitely will because i wanted mine to have flowers and be super nice you know the dried up flowers but i was gonna have to take the flowers out of the yard and maybe it wouldn't have been my yard who knows but i wanted mine to be super nice so the fact that i don't have to clean out an old nail polish bottle and all that i'm gonna just try this one out first but if you guys would like me to do a video if you guys would like me to do a video creating my own cuticle oil i will definitely do that because i still want a pretty bottle that bottle doesn't have like the flowers in it and stuff but it doesn't really matter the next thing i got is the sally hansen hard as nails i'm not going to really use this on my artificial nails but if people come in for regular manicures and to make sure my nails underneath are healthy i'm going to be using this sally hansen products i really love sally hansen like they're the best and it works so well i like their top coats and everything so i got that just to um, harden people's nails and make them stronger so the last things that i got are some different nail polishes i have been swatching all my nail polishes and i realized what colors i was missing which is pinks and blues so that's what i picked up i got some more la colors gel like these are really great quality polishes 
So the first color I got is Jammin'. It's this pretty teal type of blue color. I got a holographic color in the shade Surreal. That's really pretty. And I got this baby blue in the shade Splashy. That is so cute. And I also picked up this dark blue in the shade Wired. And this is just a plain LA Colors. It's not a gel, but I do prefer the gel. They just didn't have a dark blue, so I had to get the plain one. The last products that I got are nail polishes. And I got the baby pink in the color Girl Talk. I got this dark pink in the color Spring Break. And I got this medium bubblegum pink in the shade Posh. So this is Posh and this is Spring Break. Okay, so these are the colors. These are everything that I just named. So that's how they look with about two or three coats. But like I said, the gel polishes are really opaque. And these are just some other colors. If you guys would like to see all the colors I have, let me know. So that's it for the nail portion. I also went to Walmart recently and picked up some crafting stuff that will be future videos. So let me just go ahead and add that in. So from Walmart, I got some paint brushes. I will be doing another paint with me and it's gonna be on a humongous canvas to go right back here. So I definitely want to record that process just so you guys can see. Some of you may not care, but I like to record it anyway. And I'm going to be doing scenery for the first time. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I also picked up some bandanas and some fabric because your girl will be starting a new sewing project. I know I still have old things that I need to finish, but I want to start something new anyway. So I picked up this black bandana for a dollar. This yellow bandana this lilac type of bandana this orange bandana and this light blue teal bandana so to go along with each bandana i got some satin i got this cute gold satin and if you guys know my room you guys know i use that exact same material for my um pillowcases and one thing i love about walmart satins is that they have so many colors and they're only one dollar a yard so how can you beat that i got this super pretty orange satin lilac satin and i need a new bonnet so i might make one of those but i'm also going to make some satin face mask with cotton insides i have this royal blue satin and I have this hot pink satin. If you guys want to see what all of this is going to turn into, make sure you guys are subscribed once again because I have greatness on the way. I also brought two zippers for a DIY that's coming up. I have a white one and I have a blue jean one and both of these have gold zippers. So you guys know it's gonna be something cute, cute. And last but not least, I got some thread because you can never have too much thread as a seamstress, as a sewer, as a fashion designer. You need thread all the time. So I got this variety pack of thread and it was only $8. Like it's so tedious to have to buy this thread to go with this fabric and this look. Of course, if you really want to get it super duper close, that's when you buy it. But to just stock up on your variety of rainbow colors, this came in handy to have all these whites have all these blacks and the other colors this is going to come in clutch okay so i don't have to run out and keep going to the store when i make these masks i already have the pink thread i need so i definitely had to go ahead and purchase that for only eight dollars so i think that is actually it for this video i think that is all the stuff i purchased I don't think I'm going to be doing another haul anytime soon because now I need to get to work, okay? It's done talking about all that. I need to show you guys what's up. I need to do these DIYs, make my nails. So I'm going to bring you guys along with this new creative journey that I'm going on with all my new stuff that I purchased. So you guys know this ain't nothing new. I'm just starting back up into the creative gang. So make sure, once again, that you subscribe, leave a comment. I do reply to all the comments. So I'll see you guys in my next video.